So was Gertrude Stein, what she said about Oakland, that there, there, no there there? Well, that's kind of true about this area of California, because up until recent geologic times, California ended at the Sierra Nevada foothills. The Franciscan rock came tootling in on the Farallon Plate, but that was mostly underwater. So there used to be a subduction zone at the edge of the Sierra Nevada. Later, that subduction zone moved to the edge of the coast range, near where the plates come together today. That shift left a piece of the old ocean floor between the Sierra and the coast. We can still see that old ocean floor from the Mary Bowerman Overlook today. But one of the things that makes Mount Diablo so difficult even today for geologists and, and lay people to understand is we've got two bedrocks here. One is the Franciscan, which came in from the west, but the other is to the north. It's called the Coast Range Ophiolite. Ophiolite means an ocean floor that's now on land. And onto that old ocean floor, there washed material from the Sierra Nevada mountains, sand and silt, to great depths, uh, miles and miles. That's called the Great Valley Sequence. And Mount Diablo rose about two million years ago. And with it rose that old ocean floor and the Great Valley Sequence, and it's exposed on Mount Diablo. And looking towards the north, well, that ophiolite, that old ocean floor is exposed at Eagle Peak, at Black Point, and beyond. And what we see in that old ocean floor, we see layers. The ocean floor is like a, a layer cake, but like all the rocks on Mount Diablo, they're upside down. So down in Mitchell Canyon, we have some pillow basalts from that old ocean floor. And then we have the layer underneath called diabase. And that's what Twin Peaks and Eagle Peak are. And then a bit further up, there's a layer of serpentinite, of serpentine or state rock. That's the bottom layer of that old ocean floor. It's actually a mantle rock that was changed by hot water getting into its crystalline matrix. So it went from being the densest rock on Earth, peridotite, to being a rock that's soft and crumbly, serpentinite. That's the old ocean floor, the Coast Range Ophiolite. Now head down to Lower Summit parking lot again. Go beyond the picnic area and the restrooms heading west until you reach the start of the Juniper Trail. Follow that for a little less than half a mile until you reach stop 1.3. It's a scenic spot with a sign that's all about the volcanic rock that emerged from the ocean, greenstone or pillow basalt. <laughs> 